Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today we are at day six of our yoga beam challenge and we are back to the letter B for balance. So today we're going to be working our way up to a peak pose and that pose is not a rajasana or dancer pose. So we'll be doing some poses to kind of prepare our bodies to work our way up to not a rajasana. If you know you need help with balance, you can always practice with an object nearby to help you balance like a chair or practice near a wall so whatever you need to do to make sure that you are able to get through the, the practice is just fine so let's go ahead and get started in an easy seated position just with a little bit of breath sitting nice and tall you can close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor deep inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth Take a second deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And when you're ready, come back to your natural breath. Take an inhale. Exhale, make your way up to a table position. And we're going to move into Balasana, child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. Start to float your hips back towards your heels. Extend the arms forward. Melt your chest down towards your mat. We're starting with a little bit of hip opening. Opening that shoulder up as well. Good, inhale, exhale, float your body forward to a table position. Let's work into a little bit of cat-cow. So flip the tailbone upward, arch the spine, lift the chin, drop the belly down. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin to the chest. Good. We'll do a couple more rounds of cat cow on our own. Marjariyasana and Bidalasana. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Uh, come back to a neutral position. Walk your hands back a couple inches. Let's rock back and forth over the wrists for a quick wrist stretch. Good. You can move around in a circle a couple times if you like. back to stillness and we'll work into balancing table so bring the hands back underneath the shoulders start to extend your right leg back engage the belly so pull the belly button back towards the spine flex through those back toes if you like you can extend the left arm forward as well or you can just keep the right leg extended only we're working on some balance here because dancer pose does involve balance Inhale, exhale, lower. We'll do the other side. Extend that left leg back. Left foot is flexed. Toes pointing down towards the ground. Engage the belly. If you like, extend the right arm forward. 
inhale exhale lower let's do one more time each side right foot you can extend the left arm if you like inhale exhale lower left foot extends back right arm extends forward inhale exhale lower good from here we'll come up to our first down dog remember you can always stay on the knees to modify your down dog otherwise we'll tuck our toes under and lift our hips up and back you can pedal your feet out while you're here so bending each knee one at a time press the chest towards the thighs press the heels towards the ground Send that tailbone up and away in your down dog. When you're ready, bring your gaze in between your hands. Bend your knees. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. And we'll bring a deep bend into our knees, coming to Uttanasana or forward fold. So let your body hang over the legs. You can grab the elbows if you like. And then when you're ready, bend into the knees, roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale, hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center and down at your sides for mountain pose. Good. Let your palms face outward. Let your shoulders be relaxed. Chin parallel to the floor. Here in Tadasana, mountain pose. When you're ready, we're going to sweep our arms up, inhale, and let the left knee come up to a 90 degree angle. Let those left toes point down towards the ground. So we're already working on this standing balance, get near a wall if you need to. Inhale, exhale, big step back with the left foot, landing on the back toe. Good, so bend into this right knee, align it over the ankle. Widen your feet to about hips distance apart. Sweep your arms up. Crescent lunge. And Janayasana. Again, inhale. Exhale. Straighten this front knee. Pivot the right toes so that both toes are facing the left side of your mat. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Toes in. Heels out. Exhale, start to dive down for a wide leg forward bend. Prasarita Padatanasana. Fingertips can come to the ground. You can grab your ankles if you like, or the hands can walk through. If you have a variation of Prasarita Padatanasana you prefer, feel free to use that version. This is going to kind of open our hips up a little bit here. And inhale, exhale, lift the body back up and start to walk your hands forward to a lunge position. From here, we're going to shift our weight into the right foot and make our way to a tree pose. So coming to standing, shifting your weight to the right foot, we'll move into tree pose, Vriksasana. So option one, you can let your toes rest on the ground for support as your heel rests on your ankle. Option two, you can slide your foot up to your calf. Option three, you can grab your foot and bring it up to the thigh. So right foot is grounded, left foot rests somewhere on a leg. Whichever option you choose, just make sure it's above or below your knee. Don't let your foot rest on your knee because we don't want to push our knee outward. So whichever position works for you, Find a focal point somewhere in front of you, your zhishti, to help you balance. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to take a big step back with that left foot again. And then bring your hands down on either side of the front foot and come to a lunge position. 
And from here, we're going to bring both hands inside of the right foot. So he'll tell your right foot out to the side a little bit. Both hands inside the right foot, you're up on the fingertips or the hands are flat. If you need some support, go ahead and bring that back knee down. And we're in a lizard pose here, Utan Prastasana. Try to lift your chest a little bit. Again, if you need to lower that back knee down, feel free. So we're getting a stretch in those psoas. And then the front of the left quad, which is some flexibility we need for our dancer pose. So move the hips around a little bit. Inhale, exhale, heel toe that foot back to center. So now you have a hand on either side of the front foot again. And then we'll step the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, half lift, fingertips on the ground or hands on the shins. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend into the knees, let's roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center and down to your sides for mountain pose. Good. So we'll repeat that on the other side. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Right knee comes up 90 degree angle. Exhale. Big step back with the left foot. Bend into the left knee. Oh, sorry, big step back with the right foot, rather. Bend into the left knee. Align the left knee over the ankle. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Trying to stay up on the back toe if you can. If you need to rotate the back heel down flat, that's okay. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the front knee. Let's pivot both toes to face the right side. So bring your toes inward, bring your heels outward, inhale. Exhale, dive down, Prasarita Padatanasana. Wide leg forward bend again. Facing the opposite way. And ready, come up for a half lift. Then we'll walk our hands back towards the front of the mat and get ready to come to Vriksasana again, tree pose. So our weight will be in our left foot. Shift your weight forward, come to standing and come straight to your tree pose. Remember your options, ankle, calf, or thigh. Get near a wall if you need to. Hands at heart center. Try to open this right knee out to the side. So maybe you find a really, really small back bend here. Hands right, heart center, find your jishti. Inhale. Exhale, big step back with the right foot. Come to a lunge position. So both hands are down on either side of our left foot. And then we're going to heel toe our left foot out to the side a little bit. Bring both hands inside of our left foot. We'll lift the chest here, nice and open. Drop that back knee down if you need to. Now we're in our lizard pose, Uttan Prastasana. So again, just getting a stretch in those psoas, in those hips, in the quads. Inhale, exhale, heel toe, that foot back to the center. Inhale here, exhale, step that right foot up to meet the left. And then we'll come to a half lift with the inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Good. Let's roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you, inhale. Exhale, the hands to heart center. And then back down to your sides, coming to Tadasana, mountain pose. Feet underneath hips, shoulders relaxed, palms facing outward, chin parallel to the floor. 
And then we're going to get ready to move into our dancer pose slowly. So get near a wall or whatever object you need to help you balance. So we'll have our weight into our right foot. And we're going to start with a quad stretch. So we're bending our left knee, grabbing the outside of the left foot and pulling it in towards your hips. I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit. So both hands can come to the foot as you pull it in or just one hand. You can use this right hand to grab onto something to help you balance if you need. So finding our balance here in this quad stretch. And then we're going to extend our right arm up towards the sky for flamingo. So keep pulling that left foot in towards the glutes. Right arm is extended up now. And now we're going to get ready to move into our Nada Rajasana. So go ahead and let your left foot come inside of your left hand come inside of your left foot. Keep that right arm extended up and then start to shift your weight forward and press that left foot into the left hand as you lift this left foot up. Now, if this isn't working for you, you can stay in one of those first two positions. Find a focal point and help you balance. See if you can get a nice back bend here. Lift that foot up some more. Keep that right arm extended up, inhale. Exhale, release the foot, sweep the arms up, inhale. Hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center and down at your sides. Good. Now we're back into mountain pose and we're going to do our peak pose, not a rajasana on the other side. So just resetting here. Well, now we'll shift our weight into our left foot. Then we'll bend at our right knee, grabbing the outside of the right foot, pulling it in towards our glutes. So you can use both hands or just one if you like, using the wall for balance if you need to. Find your jishti, find your focal point. Then when you're ready, we'll come to flamingo, extending the left arm up. Uh. And when you're ready, let's move into Nada Rajasana. Right hand comes inside of that right foot. Start to bend your body forward. Press the right foot into the right hand. Lift that right foot up. Left arm stays extended up. Find your back bend here. Good. Inhale, exhale, release the foot, sweep the arms up, inhale, exhale, the hands to heart center, and down at your sides for mountain pose, good, catching our breath here, resetting our body, take an inhale, sweep the arms up again, exhale, dive down, forward fold, Uttanasana, Inhale, come up for a half lift, fingertips on the grounds or hands on the shins. Exhale, plant the hands in front of the feet. Step back to a down dog. Pedal our feet out a little bit. This dancer pose is hard work, it's balance. So stretch in that front leg, it's strength. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees, and we'll make our way down to our back. However you get there is fine. I'm going to cross my ankles behind me, and then come down to my back, hugging my knees into my chest. Rock side to side here. From here, come back to center. Open your knees and take your hands and bring them to the outside of the feet 
for reclined bound angle supta baddha konasana but we're going to hold the feet here rather than rest them on the ground so kind of pulling those feet in towards you feet are together you can rock side to side if you like Take an inhale, exhale, let's release to Shavasana. Feet reach the bottom corners of our mat. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Good. Come back to your natural breath. Spending a couple moments here with our breath. Take an inhale. Exhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And then when you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Let's take a moment here to reflect on your practice. And also to extend some gratitude towards yourself for this self-care and self-love you've practiced here today. When you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And together, we'll sweep our arms up. Inhale, hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this dancer pose, not a rajasana yoga practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about practices that have a peak pose. I don't do them very often, but I enjoy the concept of um, yoga practices with a peak pose. So leave a comment down below letting me know. Don't forget to check the links in my description box about joining my channel as a member. And there's also a link to Black Yogi Nico Marie merch including this black yogi nico marie shirt which i designed also don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always thank you for watching peace and love